hello guys welcome to really home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys something very interesting okay all right today i'll be showing you guys how to model corrugated roofing sheet you can see how realistic this is okay you can see how realistic this is so i'll be showing you the steps and also some you know minor settings on how to do this all right so let's dive in without wasting much of your time so the first thing make sure you model the roof first let's say um let's say this is how the roof is okay let's say this is how the roof is though normally if you model based on default the roof might come with some uh, some materials like this yeah sometimes you see it this way so it's still fine it's still fine actually so let me show you how to do that and also how to get it perfectly <clears throat> so first of all click on that particular roof once you click on the roof you go to your CI tools, okay? Click on CI tools and then under covering, you see roof covering. Click on roof covering. Under, under roof covering, let me go back to the first page. The first thing you will see. Once you open your CI tool for the first time, this is what you're going to see. Alright, you see something like this. Alright, so you see CI tools and then you see configurations. Just ignore these ones and then click on this angle. This one you're seeing here. Click on this one. Once you click, it's going to appear like this. You're seeing cladding. So under cladding now, you see styles, you see types. So under types, or uh, under style rather, okay. If you click on corrugated, um, corrugate, this is the one. This is particular one we're using. And then if you click on flat, this one's just a normal flat roof. And then you click on rib, the same thing. So most times it comes on um corrugated. This is how the roof come. All right. But there are some few settings you need to do. You can change it based on what you want actually. So let's say you want to edit this A. The A is the this height, um, the, the height of that particular curve. This one, this center to center of that height. Okay, that's the A now. So based on this um label, you can see that A we have 76, and then which is that means it's pan from here to here, and then B is the thickness, the thickness. Okay, most times we get it at 25 cm. 25 cm but this one we have here now is um this b now is 18 so let's make it 25 cm how do we edit now most times you click and you see that it's not highlighting you'll be like this thing is not selecting so let me show you what you do click on this corrugation okay this um corrugate rather click on this corrugate you see custom setting click on custom setting it will give you permission to work on all these things let me do this again so you understand perfectly any roof you select now okay you say click on rip you discover that you can't edit the rib until you click on this same rib again and you see custom settings provided you've selected that particular one now so anything like any roof you select now any material you select once you click on custom settings it's going to work with that particular one you've selected already okay i hope you understand let me just do that again if it's rib if let's say for instance we want to we want to use shingle this is shingle now if it's not on that custom setting, you can't edit these shingles. Okay? If it's only on shingles, you can't edit the shingles. You can see like this one and you can't edit this one now until you change it to custom settings. That's when you can work on it. Okay? So let's go back to our corrugated one. So click on corrugate. Once you click on this corrugate, yeah, it's already on custom settings. Okay? It's already on custom settings. So you can still change them here while you can edit them. Or if you click on style direct from style, once you select them, you still have to go and click on custom settings. I think the easiest way is just to leave it here on this, leave it on custom settings on that style, and then on types, you click on the particular roof you want to use. I think it's easier. I don't have to click on custom settings again and again and again. So if it's rib, if it's flat, once you click on flat, you can edit on that types actually. So if you click on shingles, you can edit shingles. If you click on um rip you can edit rip because the style is under custom setting but if you select from the style direct you see that you have to go and click on custom setting again to be able to edit right so let's move forward and then there's something you need to work on too you see um facial board okay so it's 20 20 20 all right surfing the surfing is none this one is none and um Okay, just pay attention to this ones, okay? The um, fisher board, which is the batch flashing, is 70. This one is 150, 150. So you can see the label here, okay? I see the label here, same thing. And make sure you move this one from 
normal trim okay most time is on square make sure it's on trim that's the hip or reach flashing this one is edge cut make sure the edge cut is on trim to roof that's when you see this curve i'll show you this one move forward okay i'll show you that and then all right so these are just the ma uh, major things to do okay major things to do and then most times this um pipe you see it at circle okay circular but you can change it to rectangular it all depends on what you want then for the color you can change them here for this particular um pipe and for and for the gutter you can see change the color here and then for the part for that roof okay for the roof which is the corrugated that corrugated roof we've not selected corrugated yet well, let's go back to that all right so this is it okay so on this corrugated one you discover that if you want to change the material this you see under appearance click on appearance and select the material for this one i'm using metachrome so you can also use the same thing if you want to have that same color and then i think these are just the major settings okay major settings and if anything appears that you don't want you don't like just check for the name and then move go ahead and off it okay so now let's click and see how it's going to come out like let's see let's see let's see and if there's any adjustment we'll do it together so this one now you can see that remember i said for the age select um trim to edge this particular one you see that this one is curved now trim to roof edge let me show you how we're able to the reason why this feature came out like this is because let's go back is because under is because we selected this um let me show you you need to know it because it's important okay yeah because under this reach or um hip flashing you can see end cut we selected trim to roof if we leave it on square it will just be on its own so make sure you select this trim to roof all right so thank you for your time and uh, i hope you've learned something today okay if you have any question you can see there are there's gutter here mm -hmm. this is very very important i need to know this okay you can see there's yeah there's gutter here the reason why this gutter is appearing is because we selected the gutter. And if you want to add that square where we selected, um, where we change the pipes to rectangular instead of circular. So if you click on this roof now and pick this red point you're seeing and select this move loop, you see that we have a pipe here. Look at that pipe now. Look at the pipe see the pipe for water collection okay this can actually collect the water from this gutter you see this is the hole actually this is the hole so the all the water will just drain inside into this pipe so both based on this design now we can you know run pipe downward so based on the design we're having the pipe outside so all the water here will just drain outside so thank you for your time all right thank you for your time make sure you watch this video again and again all right for proper understanding because you don't just watch once and get everything okay so make sure when you watch watch it again so you can get everything in detail all right so see you on the next tutorial don't forget to like and also if you, the video is interesting if you've learned something do well to subscribe so see you on the next tutorial